Hey TGA, we're here on the last day of 2023 at Meeple Beach. This one is designed by Gavin. It's gonna definitely uh, bring the trees into play. You got this fairway with trees really along the left. You're trying to land right about there past this tree, but there's still trouble ahead. We're gonna call this Meeple Island. So this is the Meeple Island hole, a beautiful hole surrounded by the beach all the way around really nice design so let's give it a little test here check for wind we got a sunny day because it is a beautiful sunny day here today and the drive is going to be real interesting here we go oh man he <laughs> put it right in the middle of the fairway so but here's what happens on the tile you're on you put the tree well, we'll explain this, but horizontally, so it's a little bit of a wider base. And then if there's a tree adjacent, you put it, you put the base vertically. So there's more room to go around it because essentially you're further away from this tree. So it's easier to get over it or around it. If it, the base was wider, you'd have a harder time getting, getting past it. So you don't put the trees on the course until you land. Because if not, you would always be going, you know, knocking down trees. <laughs> You're going over it, so you only put it once it lands. So now for my second shot, uh, also wind over here again. This time I have a strong wind, and it's going to be going hard to the right. So I'm going to come around. Can't reach. So this will be for a birdie two, and then we'll see now. See, so I have room to go around on the right. This goes right in the center and then vertically, like I said. Um, but not a lot. And if you touch the tree, the ball gets knocked down. So let's just, let me do this as an example. If I, if, regardless of where the ball ends up, if you hit the tree, you're not, your ball is knocked down. So you have to come back to this spot and see where it gets kicked out to, right? Just like in real golf. So you do, you roll the weather die again, and light wind means it's one space in whatever direction you flick. So it would be here, up and to the right. Luckily, it was just one space, because if you roll a strong wind or a gale wind, there would be two spaces, so it could put you on another top. So if I hit the tree, it would be one space up and to the right. Now, see this graphic? This is still all the trees. So I'm technically still in the trees, which means I have to hit left hand, middle finger out of the trees and my max fly is three, one, two, three. So I can't even reach the hole. I'm gonna have to try to land it there. So this would be real tough. You don't remove the tree either. So make it a little more difficult, you know, hitting close to this tree. Ah, I'm in the water. I'd have to drop. I'm in the cliff, wow. Finally got it to the next graphic, but guess what? There's another tree and I'm right behind it. And there's be another tree here. Now this one would be vertically. So man, now because I'm right behind the tree, I can't go over it, I can't go around it. To play a draw or a fade, you have to hit the ball at least according to the rules is five tops. We may adjust it to three tops. So it's not like I could you know, draw it around this tree here either. There's just not enough, you know, it's just not enough distance. So I would have to literally pitch over here and then I would have a shot at the green. So on a course like this, I mean, you're really gonna make the players, uh, you know, really deal with the trees as you saw. But hey, listen, I think on a one hole or two, it's really cool to kind of, you know, make this kind of challenging uh, tree course. You could do something also like this. Sorry about the camera. But I'm by myself here. But you could put the tree, you know, still on the fairway and still be trouble, but turn this tile off to the left and turn this one maybe off to the right. So really, you know, an errant shot, an errant shot, bad shot, would, you know, land here and have to deal with the tree. But a good shot, you know, still has your your reward, right? Of of uh a clear path to the to the hole. So you could do, you know, do something like that. I think I'd probably, you know, design it more this way. Um, and then this tree here, you know, you could also do the same thing, maybe put it a little bit more to the side. 
Because trust me, people are going to come up short right here, and this tree is going to be really in the way. Um, so there you go. This is Meeple Island, and happy 23 to everybody. And we got a lot of fun things coming out in 2024, including the beautiful Meeple Beach. So stay blessed, and we'll hope you hit them long and straight.